On page 68, you'll find um, second degree AV block type 2. And in a second degree AV block type 2, typically the rate is slow. And this is a potentially very serious dysrhythmia and one that typically requires um, either treatment, uh, pharmacological treatment, or external cardiac pacing. Transcutaneous pacing is considered uh, the gold standard for a hemodynamically unstable secondary AV block type 2. So the heart rate's uh, a little bit concerning, typically. And uh, if we look at the heart rate for this one, um, we find this QRS falls fairly close to a dark line. So the heart rate here is 300, 150, 175, 60, 50, 43, 37, 33. Uh, so because this one falls just inside the line, as does this one, probably, you know, a rate of about uh, 36 uh, beats per minute, we'll say in this case. So that's quite slow. And how that pr patient presents clinically with a heart rate of 36 will depend on the age of the patient, uh, underlying cardiac disease, comorbidities such as COPD, other diseases, and so on and so forth. So these patients may range clinically from uh, relatively asymptomatic to um, having chest pain, shortness of breath, nausea, vomiting, and being quite sick or even hemodynamically unstable, in which case they would uh, need electrical therapy such as transcutaneous uh, pacing. The P waves are uh, present and upright in leads 1, 2, and 3. The peer interval, where there are P waves associated with a QRS complex, the peer interval is constant. And uh, so this peer interval here, which is associated with a QRS, is consistent with this one, is consistent with this one, and is consistent with that one. And we don't see that in the other um, heart blocks, such as second degree AV block type 1 or a third degree AV block. Um, you would see them consistent in a first degree AV block, but this is an important finding. So the, the PR interval is consistent where P waves are associated with the QRS complex. The QRS is typically narrow. The ratio is usually a fixed ratio of 2 to 1, 3 to 1, and rarely 4 to 1. But less commonly, uh, patients may have intermittent secondary AV block type 2 with a variable ratio. And so these are patients who have a stretch of sinus rhythm, and then they have a 2 to 1 block, sinus rhythm, and then a 2 to 1 block, or maybe a 3 to 1 block, and then some sinus rhythm, and then another 3 to 1 block. And so they have um, what they call an intermittent secondary AV block type 2. And uh, typically, though, the, the rhythm is regular, except when we have an intermittent secondary AV block uh, type 2. So in this case, we have uh, 1, 2, and 3 P waves per QRS. So this would be a secondary AV block type 2 with a 3 to 1 ratio.